Hey, what is up guys? This is Asam back again with another video and in this video I am going to show you how to control stepper motor using python and arduino. Okay, in this video I am going to use pymata 4 module for uh, controlling the stepper motor. Okay, let me show you the repository of pymata module. Okay, okay this, uh, this is the module that I am going to use today. Okay, now uh, just simply download this code or uh, clone this repository to your uh, local storage and then open up your PowerShell just like me okay then redirect where your repository is available okay mine is in download folder after that uh, mine is in download folder after that I am going to redirect to the directory okay first of all let me then I'm going to find the directory okay i am in the project directory and let me show you what is uh, available in this directory okay now simply install it using pip install and the folder location okay dot okay i already installed it okay we can see uh, the module is successfully installed okay before starting we need to make our arduino to pi format uh, pi matter compatible so for that i need to import a sketch okay the sketch is format express because our uh, because pi matter 4 depends on format express so for installing format express uh, format express just simply go to your manage libraries from tools Okay, it will take a bit of time to open. Okay, from here, okay, we can see the library's index is downloading. Okay, from here, uh, just simply search Parmata Express, okay, and then hit enter. Okay, uh, I already installed it, so if in your case, you just simply click the install button, then the module is going to install to your Arduino library, okay. Now, I'm going to open it from file after that examples and then here from format express just simply open up the code there are lots of codes nothing to explain here just simply upload it to your Arduino okay thus you can make your Arduino board to PyMata compatible okay Okay, we can see uh, the sketch is compiling. Okay, we can see the uploading process has just started. Okay, we can see the uploading is done now i am going to do the coding part okay make sure the circuit is the circuit you designed is something like this 
and I I am using L293D. Let me show you. Okay, I I am using this motor driver, stepper motor driver for controlling the stepper motor. Okay, and make sure your circuit diagram is looking like this. And now back into coding. Okay, so first of all, I am going to import. Okay. Okay. First of all, I am going to import time module. Okay. So, imp uh, import time for uh, I am using uh, I am importing this uh, module because I want to create some delay. Okay. Uh, between the steps of a stepper motor. Now I am going to import the pi meter four from pi meter. Port pi meter four. Okay. After that, I'm going to declare the number of steps. Okay, number uh, number of steps. Okay, it will be let's say five one two. Okay, this is the revolution per second. Then I'm going to set the Arduino pins. Okay, here the pins will be eight, nine, ten, and eleven okay and it will be in list property because uh, we need to specify the pins to the pi meter 4 okay after that i'm going to declare the boot okay the boot will be now pi meter 4 has a feature it uh, it did uh, it does auto detect to uh, arduino uh, where uh, where the arduino is connected uh, in, in your computer support okay so I am going to call the pi meter 4 and then the pi meter 4 class ok. Now uh, what it is going to do, it is going to do, uh, it, it is going to scan all the ports and uh, find where your Arduino is connected ok. Now I am going to set the pin mode ok, the pin mode will be stepper, uh, set pin mode stepper okay i want to set the pins mode to stepper mode okay and then i'm going to pass two argument one is the number of steps and the other will be steps per revolution okay the steps per revolution uh sorry guys my bad the first one is the steps per revolution uh, which is 512 and then i'm going to set the pins here okay the pin will be uh, that i declared earlier the pins okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a while loop here sorry guys my bad i did a spelling mistake while true here i'm going to write the steps okay boot dot stepper right and then i'm going to first of all i'm i just declare the steps and then the revolution per second okay this is 512 or simply pass number of steps okay okay Okay, the 21 is the speed and the number of steps is the revolution per second. Then I am going to add a delay here. Okay, uh, so for adding the delay, I am just calling the time module and then from time, just I just did the, uh, I just call the sleep module. Okay, I want to uh, add, I just added it for one second and then I, uh, and then I'm going to reverse the speed. Okay, so for that, step right here, I'm going to first, uh, first I just set the speed and then I'm going to set the revolution per second. Okay, the uh, or number of steps, something like that. So here will be minus 512 because I want to reverse the speed. Then I'm going to add another delay. Okay. 
it will be for 0.5 seconds i think this is standard okay now i'm going to run my pro uh, program okay so here i'm going to run my program let's see what happens okay we can see uh, the arduino is connected to compo 3 okay or to discover uh, discovery completed as i mentioned earlier it detects uh, the port uh, it detects the connected port automatically okay guys we can see the stepper motor is rotating okay 